Introducing the all-new Sim 2 by TaylorMade. For the perfect hit everyone wants, but no one wants to follow. Here at TaylorMade, we are bringing our best so you can play your best again and again and again. TaylorMade. What's up, guys? Nate Taylor here with Full Time Filmmaker, and believe it or not, 100% of that commercial was lit with natural light and FTF's newest product the 5-in-1 reflector. And in this video, we are going to show you how to get the most out of a 5-in-1 reflector and show you a behind the scenes look at how you can greatly enhance the lighting and overall production value of your videos with only a reflector. But before we dive into the making of this commercial and how we did it, I wanna take a second to thank our sponsor for this video, Storyblocks. Now, if you haven't actually gone to the website and checked it out, you are seriously missing out. There's a reason everybody you watch advertises for Storyblocks, and it's because they're a service that will actually benefit you if you're someone that creates content, specifically videos or photos. You will at some point need assets in your content creation. And let me clarify assets. We're talking drone footage that you can't normally get because it's hard to fly drones in a lot of places. After Effects templates for intros, outros, titles, and much more more. There's an abundance of stuff that is super useful for client work as well. It's all royalty free. You can use it on your content anywhere, especially on YouTube. It's free for commercial use and personal use. It's a huge win. They are always adding content to their unlimited access plans, and that's access to like over a million different assets. A million. Who even has time to go through a million assets? Things like music, illustrations, sound effects, and more. And the best part is, it's affordable. You can stay on budget and not blow your budget to get high quality assets because this stuff is usually really, really expensive and way far out of range to make it feasible for any type of project. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but there's a reason everybody advertises for these guys because they're so good at what they do. So that being said, before we continue, the links are in the description below. I'm telling you as one creator to another, check them out. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the functions of the 5-in-1 reflector, I'm going to give you a basic overview of placement and when to use what reflector. And for those of you that just wanna see how the commercial was made, go ahead and skip to this timestamp. But now let's go over to the studio where we have our model and I'll show you how to work with the five-in-one reflector. All right, so let's talk about the different reflectors included. On this side of the reflector, we have the gold and on the other side, we have the white. So first, let me show you the white. So you have to locate your primary light source, which could be the sun or an artificial light like we have here off to the side and work the reflector until you can see the light appear on your subject's face like so. The white is probably my favorite to use for balance when working with the human face because it is so subtle and soft compared to the silver side. As for the gold side, you can tell it's a lot more reflective, so it will give you a harder, more warm light and harsher shadows up on the subject's face. To change this to the other two reflectors, you'll have this zipper here that will take off the gold and white reflectors. Then you will flip that inside out and you'll have the silver and black. Use this little piece of fabric as your guide to zip that back on and now you have the other two reflectors. The black side is one of my favorite to use because it adds negative fill or a dark reflection to come up on my subject's face. Filmmakers and photographers use this side to add depth and contrast to the subject's face, bringing back the shadow like so. Like the gold side, the silver side gives you a very harsh reflection. The only difference is it's a cooler light. So I really only use this silver when I need to bounce more light on my subject when the white side isn't giving me enough fill light. Now, one of the biggest amateur mistakes I see is when they place the silver side right underneath their subject's face, it makes them almost look like they have two noses when they have that unnatural light coming from below their face. So when using this silver or gold side, just be really careful and pay attention to the shadows happening on your subject's face. And last Lastly, we have the diffusion layer, which is accessible just by taking off the reflectors. This part of the 5-in-1 reflector is my absolute favorite because of the production quality it brings. When you have harsh light hitting your subject's face, you can take this and place it between your subject and the harsh light to soften that light like so. Here's a quick before and after. So as you can see, that difference is huge. The important thing to remember though, is the closer this is to your subject, the softer that light will be. But now let's take you on location and show you how we created that commercial just using the five-in-one reflector. 
All right, guys, we're now here at the golf course. We're doing this fan-made commercial for TaylorMade. So we're gonna show you guys how this can really transform your videos. As we're here at the tee box with our subject, we're using the white side of the reflector to bounce some light up into their face and also this diffuse side to diffuse the harsh sunlight coming from the sun. I'm gonna show you a quick before and after of what that looks like with the reflector and without. So as you guys are working with these 501 reflectors, you always need to make sure that that light is soft, but also make sure that this doesn't enter the frame. You also need to be conscious of the shadow that's coming into frame as well, as that will make it look unprofessional. So always be conscious of what's in your frame and also what's not in your frame. Let's keep shooting. All right guys, we're here in the shade. One thing I wanted to mention is we don't need a ton of diffusion while we're in the shade because the shade is diffusing the sun on our subject's face. But the important thing is we're going to need bounce. So what we're gonna use is the white side of the five-in-one diffuser to take a little bit of that light from the sky to reflect up underneath the hat of our subject. I'm gonna show you a quick before and after of what that looks like. Now, as you guys can see, that bounce light adds just a little bit more production value to that shot. So that is my goal. I'm out here filming this commercial is making sure my subject and the logo is the brightest part of the image because the viewer's eye is going to go right to that part. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and keep shooting. All right, guys, we just got a shot here on the tee box where we had the bounce and the diffuser, but I also wanted to grab a shot without the bounce and without the diffuser to show a common beginner mistake. And that mistake is having overexposed areas on a face. So what I'm having Tanner do for me right now is hold a diffuser to diffuse my face because it makes it a lot more even. It's a very quick giveaway to a beginner as if they have those hot spots like in this image here. So having an assistant help you with a five-in-one diffuser panel really makes all the difference between a professional and an amateur. So let's keep getting some cool shots with this five-in-one diffuser. All right, we're about to tee off on this hole and we're having golden hour start to set in. There is this gold side of the five-in-one reflector that I really won't use at any other time during the day except golden hour. Now you do have to be careful because the gold material casts a very strong warm light onto the subject. It makes them look almost radioactive. I tried to use it during golden hour, but even then it was casting too warm of light onto my subject. The white and silver reflector will reflect whatever color of light is hitting it, but the golden reflector will warm up whatever color of light is hitting it. So even during warm gold golden hour light, the gold side will reflect an even warmer light, giving you two different color temperatures on your subject. So I rarely find a good use for the gold reflector unless I'm going for a very warm look. But most of the time, you'll just want an even color balance on your subject, so I recommend sticking to the white or silver reflectors. Now, I know some of you are thinking, that's great, but I don't shoot outside with natural light a lot. Most of my shoots are inside, so I just can't use a reflector. Well, what if I told you this entire talking head was lit with just natural light and three reflectors? Hard to believe, I know, but let's go ahead and jump to my second camera angle here. As you can see here, I have this reflector between the window and myself to be able to diffuse that light coming in from the window. I'm sitting as close as I can to that window to make sure I'm the brightest part of the image. There at the back, I have a reflector set on the silver side, which produces a much harder light, so that light that's coming in residually from the window is able to reflect off that, giving me a nice rim light, separating me from the background. Then here I have another reflector on the white side, producing some fill on the left side of my face. Three of the five functions of this tool are being used to create a naturally lit talking head. So that's the wide shot of this set. Let's go ahead and jump back to the normal angle. Now, like we teach in our course, Full-Time Filmmaker, when you want to light a human subject, you want to use a three-point lighting setup. That setup will consist of a key light, hair or rim light, and a fill light. So that is what I wanted to accomplish with my reflector setup here in the studio. 
Three reflectors cost less than $100. So as you can see, these can be a powerful tool to have in your toolkit for a relatively low cost. But guys, that's it for this video. Link in the description to pick up a five in one reflector if you don't already have one. Every filmmaker should have one in their pack. So if you don't, make sure to pick yours up today. Also, we always harp on this, but buying the right gear is important, but learning to use that gear is far more important. That is why we created Full-Time Filmmaker, the ultimate online film school which features many courses such as Photo Pro, where we teach you to become a professional photographer, Wedding Video Pro, Real Estate Video Pro, and so much more. Inside the full course, you will find over 500 videos, downloadable LUTs, presets, and transitions, and access to a community of over 17,000 filmmakers. I will also include that link in the description below, so make sure to check that out. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. And if you guys have any further questions, please let me know.